Good evening, friends. Good evening, Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Be done to me according to thy word. Hail, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us take our entrance in hymn number 569. What a friend we have in Jesus. Hymn number 569. Richardson Kudas factory compound 
inaugurated by the chief minister here in Mulund. But we thank God for this facility, especially so close to us in Mulund, for all the people here. We ask the Lord to relieve us, to save us from the coronavirus. We pray in a special way for all the people, our parishioners too, who have been affected by this virus and pray that God may forgive us, forgive the whole world and grant us relief from this deadly virus. The Gospel today invites us, come to me, all you who are burdened, I will give you rest. Lord, we all come to you. We all come to you with our burden of this sickness, the burden of our anxiety, the burden of financial stress. Lord, grant us your peace. Let us acknowledge our own sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we pray. I confess to our mighty God, God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, <coughs> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, let's Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen.
you would not belong to him. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his spirit living in you. So then, my brothers, there is no necessity for us to obey our unspiritual selves or to live unspiritual lives. If you do live in that way, you are doomed to die. But if by the Spirit you put an end to the mysteries of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand. Come to me, 
that is what we are we are a tag team partnership the one bullock is you or me and the other is jesus himself this is synergy with jesus the meaning of this text the meaning when jesus says is that that you and i together we are a yoke we are a team together it means that if you alone could do just two tons of work together we can do not four but much 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 more this is the power of synergy with jesus and i noted that there are three special things if you have this synergy with jesus the first thing jesus offers you is rest now the moment we hear rest today earlier when we used to hear rest we were very happy now in these lockdown days when we hear rest we get very 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 upset because we have rested and rested and rested and we are locked in and we are actually bored of our rest and this is a good thing we have learned in these past 3 months because often people think i want to just rest and i can just rest and rest and rest but when the when the fact of the matter is this that we are not built to just rest pure rest is something that you will get very upset with and even though you and i also enjoy that first month when we were in lockdown we had all our plans ready we caught up on all the things we wanted to probably we missed out on in our busy work lives after one month it starts getting to us we don't know what to do we are we are frustrated we get upset we have no friends to talk to we can't go out and jesus in his great wisdom tells us come to me and i will give you rest but that rest does not mean a complete rest so the first thing is that he he gives us a special thing called rest the second thing he says is take my yoke upon you these are strange words if somebody is offering you rest they will not offer you some burden but what jesus is saying is that don't have unrealistic hopes in life that this life is meant to be productive to work but when the lord is with us in a synergy with us this workload is not as big and as heavy as we make it out to be and very often we are doing things in our life we are working in our life by just our energy and the lord is saying when you come to me i offer you rest but take my yoke and the specialty of his yoke is that it is easy that it is light the first reading of today has something very very beautiful it says that uh, god is proclaiming you know god is proclaiming saying that i am your king and i am coming victorious and triumphant i fought this great battle i have spent years probably or months at war at campaign and now i am coming triumphant back home and when a king or an emperor or a great warrior comes back after this long battle the people would do, go all out to do the best for them imagine a superstar comes to your house to visit you we will go all out to do everything the plates if we can afford would be made of gold if if we could afford it. but yet when the lord comes back from triumph with the triumph he comes on a donkey he does not come on a gallop uh, on on galloping on a big horse with all the pomp he comes simply he comes humbly and this is the beauty of jesus that our jesus is very low maintenance if jesus was a superstar today he would have no vanity van he would have no extra person for makeup he just come simple on a colt on a donkey and this is what he says that when you when you live life by my principles don't overburden you it seems like it is overburdening but in fact it is not and that is what jesus was offering even to the community when he came when he was preaching for those three years he didn't give them those lists of commandments of do's and don'ts he simply shared the love of god he simply gave the beatitudes where people where people were in their life he took them and and showed them the kingdom of god and so his yoke is easy he's light jesus is very low maintenance that is the second special thing he offers And the third thing he offers is, he says, "Take my yoke and learn from me." Today is a very special Sunday. It's called Faith Formation Sunday. And if if we were there last year, I remember I just began my ministry here last year. We were all geared up with the Sunday school and the confirmation and all the other associations. This is the day when we inaugurate everything after that break of the May holidays. And it is a very fitting day because Lady Sunday was last Sunday. Now we have Faith Formation Sunday. in the sense that we are moving ahead in our faith just like we are moving ahead in our academic year we are moving ahead in our financial year this faith formation sunday is a very important thing and god is telling us to learn from him one of the most beautiful things again of these 3 months has been that people have spent a lot of time learning the faith we had online classes we had the the archdiocese has had so many uh, courses of this sort daily at 6 pm 
we ourselves have been having in different different forms, trying to help the people grapple with this reality, grapple with their faith. And so I'd like to request you and to urge you and to motivate you to continue this faith formation. Today, the Lord, the church has come right into your homes, right onto your TVs, just a button and a click away. So don't be more lazy now, but have a committed time daily, even if it's 15 to 20 minutes of growing in your faith, of, of asking questions, of having those questions answered. And also weekly of spending some time, maybe on the weekend, a longer period of time, growing in our faith, growing in our faith formation. What the Lord is telling us is, is to have a childlike faith, but not a childish faith. The final thing, and perhaps this is the most thing that is missed from the Gospel text of Matthew. When Jesus says, come to me, he doesn't just mean the individual person, Jesus, but he means the entire community that Jesus has left behind, the church that he has left behind. And so when we have the synergy with Jesus, we also have a synergy with the community. And there is great power, there is great healing in that. The most simplest example I can give you is that of a funeral. When a person dies in our family, and dies in a family, it is a very upsetting thing. It's like an earthquake into the family, into the person's life. They don't even know how to deal with it. And immediately they have to do these preparations for the funeral and it's quite complicated things, things that they have not done day to day life. Yet, most of the people you find at a funeral will be uplifted because the community backs them up. You will find the whole community present, praying, crying, giving consolation and after that whole event passes when, when the bereaved go back home they have a sense of I don't know how I went through that but I went through it. This is because of the power of the synergy of the community that the community is there to back you. Even if you have not backed the community during your days but at the time when you need it the most the Lord comes to us through our community. In a few moments now we will profess our faith. We will say I believe this I, most people think is I, I, I as an individual, but that is not what Pope Benedict teaches us. Pope Benedict says this I is a I among the we, and so we are the community. And it's so beautifully said in the third part, I believe not just in Jesus, in God, the Father, Son, and the Trinity, but I believe also in the church. I believe in the communion of saints, that not just this world, but even in the other world, there are people praying for us, interceding for us, Mary, the angels, the saints. And so even though probably this time we've been feeling lonely, we are alone but we are not lonely. Jesus is with us. The church is with you. This community, St. Pius Bolon is with you. The heaven is with you. Angels are with you. And we need to take that as a consolation. We need to believe that the Lord is actually present in these forms with us. I invite you to a few moments of silence, my dear friends. And as we move on to the I believe and then the offertory, offer your loneliness to the Lord. Offer your yoke the Lord and ask the courage that you may take his yoke from uh, upon you and learn from him. So let us profess our faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear friends, let us bring our prayers and petitions to the Lord, who invites us to Him, to lay our burdens at his feet. A response, Lord, show your kindness towards us together. 
Lord, show your kindness towards us. We pray for the Holy Father, O Francis, our Bishop Cardinal Oswald Gracious, and all the entire clergy and religious, as they continue to foster and educate the spirit of faith in every Christian. We pray to the Lord. Lord, show your kindness towards us. Let us pray for all those involved in education institutions and all those involved in teaching. At this moment, let us remember all our parents who are our first formators, our teachers in school, colleges, Sunday school teachers, confirmation animators, and all those involved in teaching us the faith. Let's pray that through their life, they will continue to inspire and motivate us to read the Word of God and study it. Our response, Lord, show your kindness towards us. We also pray for all our government authorities as they continue to strive hard to help us to face this pandemic. We pray for their good health, especially the doctors, nurses, volunteers. Let's pray that they will remain in good health to take care of all the sick patients. Our response, Lord, show your kindness towards us. Let us pray for each and every one of us as we continue to live through this pandemic that our faith will be formed during these times, that we will help our family members and help those who are weak in their faith, that they will be strengthened and that they will meet the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord, Lord, show your kindness towards us. Let us place our personal intentions before the Lord. We pray for Shankar Naik and Alan Fernandez, not the deceased member of our family, that God will grant them eternal rest. We pray for these bereaved families that God may be their consolation. We pray for all those who are seeking a job these days, that they may find gainful employment. We pray for all those who are celebrating their birthdays, wedding anniversaries, that God may bless them. God, our loving Father, we praise, bless and thank you for everything that you give us in our life, for our work, for our rest, for the times we can just lay our yoke, our burdens upon you. We ask you to give us your peace. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifices in your hands for the praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all in this holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pleasure of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. The mystery of faith.
memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Shankar Naik and Alan Fernandez, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them with the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Pius, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours.
spiritual communion bread. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for healing and protection from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. We pray for the doctors, nurses and attendants. Protect them. Bless those doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take the appropriate steps for the good of the people. O merciful God, keep us safe and give us your peace. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Deacon Clifton always mentioned to us uh, about this being a faith formation Sunday. When Sunday school begins, the Sunday school teachers are kind of blessed at the Eucharist. And so it's time to begin our Sunday school. May not be physically, but we can begin online. So, uh, Father Gavin tells me that there will be videos posted through the teachers over this weekend. So, you move now one class higher along with the teacher that you had last year. So that the teacher knows you, knows the groups. So, you will have the same teachers and they will be connected to you through the online classes so they'll have a video sent to you so we begin our sunday school in a way this week yes i know you're all waiting to just come back and enjoy a nice mass with all those action plays and uh, skits with the uh, Father Gavi's announcements and all the clapping that you all do for everybody. And then, <laughs> and, and then the Sunday school proper. Yes, we are all waiting for that. We are sure it will happen soon. We also look at starting our confirmation classes for the year 2020-21. All those who have finished their 10th standard exams as well as those who have not yet received the sacrament of confirmation can enroll themselves. We will send the registration forms via WhatsApp through the zonal leaders this Monday to all families. So if you have in your family 
a student who needs to enroll also those remember seniors who for some reason have not received the sacrament confirmation can enroll themselves so you should enroll by 12th of july these forms as i said will be sent to you on e on whatsapp you can download them email them or whatsapp them to father clifford or to deacon clifton we can still avail of his services <laughs> normally uh, he would have been ordained and he would have been in some parish maybe our parish bolod bolod we don't know but till then uh, of course we are all very praying fervently that he be ordained a priest soon but till then we can avail of his services you can uh, send them to him or to father clifford in the meantime we keep hoping and praying wishing each other well and continue continue to hope that things will be better soon let us stand for the final blessing The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our recessional hymn, hymn number five six zero. We see the troubles in our lives. We see the troubles in our.